These problems will give you practice on using the arrow pushing formalism to study elementary steps of reaction mechanism. Several elementary steps occur over and over again in many different types of organic reactions. So recognizing those steps will really help you figure out what type of reaction is happening and how the electrons will be reshuffling in order to make those changes occur. The question here is which elementary step occurs in this reaction? Well, each of these elementary steps is distinguished by what types of bonds are made and or broken. Here all that's happening is you're breaking this sigma bond. And what type of step is that? Well, that is a step called heterolysis, where one of the members involved in the bond breakage takes the two electrons for itself. In this next step, we look at this and figure out what's going on. All we're doing is sharing a pair from oxygen to carbon, and so all we're doing is making a sigma bond. If you're only making a sigma bond, what step is that? Well, that's a coordination. Here's a case where it looks like very little is happening, but if you think about what's really happening here, you're moving a positive charge from this carbon over to this adjacent carbon. And in order to accomplish that, you're going to have to move one of the hydrogens from this site over to that site beside it. If all that's happening is a rearrangement of the positive charge from one carbon to an adjacent carbon, that's a carbocation rearrangement. It's a very important step in many organic reactions you'll see throughout your course. Now let's take a look at this. If you pause the video, you can figure out what's happening in this case. And if you think about this and look at the hydrogens that are not necessarily drawn for you in a line bond formula, you'll see that one of these hydrogens is coming off, leaving the two electrons behind as a pi bond, and you have a proton coming off as a result. So a sigma bond is broken, a pi bond is formed at the same time, and the unit that's eliminated has left the electrons behind. So which type of step would that be? Well, this is an electrophilic elimination reaction. One last problem of this type, which elementary step is this? We have to figure out what's happening. We see that there's a new bond from the hydrogen to the carbon. So you're making that sigma bond. At the same time, you're pushing the electrons from that pi bond up to this other atom to break that pi bond. And that's how you get this structure here. So what type of reaction step is characterized by a sigma bond forming as a pi bond breaks where the added unit donates the electrons to the atom that had the pi bond? This is a nucleophilic addition step where a nucleophile adds to a pi bond. Now we'll take a look at a different type of question. In this type of question, we're asking you to provide the product that would result from a certain type of step. Here we're asked to show the product of coordination of a proton to an oxygen atom of methanol. These two reagents shown here. Well, coordination is simply forming a sigma bond, and you're going to take electrons from the lone pair and push them towards the positive charge. We draw the curved arrow, and what product would result from that? Well, we've given electrons to the hydrogen, so this is the new sigma bond we formed. And because the oxygen lost electrons, it's now got a formal charge of plus one. Next, let's try to figure out what the product will be resulting from electrophilic addition of a proton to ethylene. Well, a electrophilic addition step involves taking the pi bond electrons and donating them to an electrophile so that the electrophile will be able to add to that species. If we think about the product we would get from doing that, Here's maybe the new hydrogen we've added by giving that pair of electrons that used to be the pi bond. That leaves this carbon over here with a positive charge because now it only has three bonds instead of four. Now we're asked to show the product of electrophilic elimination of a proton from this cation. Well, the elimination of an electrophile has to take place from a site adjacent to an existing carbocation there. So if we take a look at the protons that are on sites adjacent to that, we have four H's. But this molecule is symmetric about this line, so it doesn't really matter from which side we choose to take that proton. So I'm just going to take these electrons and make this pi bond. Elimination reactions are good at making pi bonds. If we do that, we've broken that off and the H will not be attached anymore. 
So what we get is the H that's come off as the proton. The other hydrogens are still there that we didn't involve in the reaction, of course. We just don't have to draw them in the line bond formula. But the two electrons that we pushed from that proton into the space is now shown up as a pi bond. Next, we're asked about the most complicated type of elementary step that we've studied in the primer. So we have a base and we have an alkyl halide. The E2 reaction involves some heteroatom that can serve as a leaving group coming off of this carbon, and a carbon beside it has to lose a proton. And of course, a base is very good at taking protons off of things. So the mechanism will be that one of the hydrogens adjacent to this leaving group will be pulled off by the base. As that happens, the electrons that used to hold that proton onto the molecule pour into this space. And there's a hydrogen here. And you push the electrons onto the chlorine. If we think about what the product would look like for all of those things happening at the same time, we see that we've made a sigma bond from this oxygen to this hydrogen. And that leads to the formation of methanol. The chlorine has been pushed off with the electrons to make chloride. And the two electrons we put into this space, as represented by this arrow, that leads to the formation of this double bond. And now we're asked to provide the product of this SN2 reaction. An SN2 reaction involves formation of a sigma bond to the same carbon from which another unit is leaving to break a sigma bond. So overall, that carbon will maintain its four bonds, including the bond to the hydrogen that's not shown there. The product then would be substitution of the chloride for this cyano group. So that's added in place of the chlorine. You didn't do anything to the hydrogen, so the carbon still has four bonds as it had in the starting material, despite the hydrogen not being shown. So that's neutral. The electrons got pushed onto the chlorine, so that has a negative charge.